What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Independent Experience. I'm NDXP and we're coming to you again on Friday, May 15th, 2020. It is Friday, so you know what that means. Free Gold Friday! You're going to want to stick around to the end of the video so you can get the secret word to put down in the comments. We got a lot to get to today. We have an article we're going to be reviewing uh, regarding selling on eBay. Not being talked about a whole lot in the community and I really, really think it should be. We're going to get to that. But first, let's go ahead and take a look at the markets and see where we're going to be starting Friday off at. Gold is up nicely, currently at 17.4207. Silver is up very, very nicely at 16.37, giving us a ratio of 106.41. Platinum is up slightly at 779.75, and palladium is also up very slightly at 19.0125. In other metals markets, rhodium is held steady at $7,500. Copper has lost a few cents. It is dropping as we speak down at $2.33. And aluminum is down one penny at 64 cents. Barrels of crude oil continue to rise slowly, as it may be. We're nearing Tuesday's June futures uh, closing. Uh, but they are currently at 28.11 a barrel. Yesterday on the Dow Jones, S&P 500, and NASDAQ, we saw positive gains on all three, thank God. The Dow Jones was up 377 points at 23.625.34. The NASDAQ was up 80 points at 89.43.72. And the S&P 500 was up 32 points, closing out the day at 89.43.72. Seventy-two. If you guys trade in Bitcoin, we had kind of an up and down day yesterday, overnight especially. Bitcoin's currently going off at ninety-six fifteen forty-six. And if you happen to trade in the good old gold back, those are up currently at three hundred one. In today's video, uh, like I said, I wanted to talk about eBay and how it's going to affect our our hobby and our way of life as stackers uh, here the second half of this year and going forward. eBay has put out a new um, a new system uh, of payments that they're that they're starting. It's called the managed payments. Um, this is actually um, for them to start to get away from PayPal. Um, you know obviously eBay is missing out on on all that money, that PayPal money, by uh, uh, by not collecting the money themselves, and so that's what they're getting into. Um, eBay will actually allow you to use uh, many different forms of payment um, underneath the managed payment systems. Um, I got the article pulled up here. I'm not going to read the articles. I'm just going to spot what uh, uh, some of the things that they're showing. So benefits to sellers is. A big section that they're hyping up in this uh, article. Uh, it says the managed payments uh, simplifies the buying and selling experience on eBay by delivering multi and en multiple enhancements such as choice. Offer more payment op options to buyers, credit, debit, and gift cards, Apple Pay, Google Pay, PayPal, and PayPal credit. So you're still going to be able to use PayPal, um, but you're going to be able to use Apple Pay, Google Pay, um, Gift cards. I'm not sure what gift cards you're going to want to use. I don't know if there's an eBay gift card, maybe. I don't know. I guess I don't buy enough on eBay to know. But uh, convenience. Uh, access everything you need all in one place. Customized reports. A single source for fees, refunds, labels, simplified protections, tax documentations, and payout scheduling options. Okay. Well, if you're dealing a lot in eBay and you're taking in thousands of dollars a month, or more, uh, I guess that would be beneficial. Uh, streamlined options, payouts directly into your bank account, unique order numbers for ease and for reconciliation, returns processing, and the option to pay for shipping labels from pending payouts. That's nice, you don't have to pay for shipping out of pocket, that's really a good deal. Um, there's a couple other things that goes into um, some different reportings and, and reach and everything. Um, 
but there is one troubling thing. You scroll down, uh, it gets into the the frequently asked questions about the managed payments process. And um, there's a listing here that says, can I sell any item when eBay manages my payments? Uh, it says there is a certain list of items that you cannot sell uh, when using eBay management payments. Uh, managed payments. So uh, it does go on. It has a list of restricted items. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. There's some weird things on here. Um, the number one thing that they have on the list, uh, sellers enrolled in managed payments are not allowed to list the following items. Adult only items, including movies and video games. Hmm. Um hoping if those things are for sale they are new in package that's all i'm gonna say uh i can't sell airline rail and cruise tickets uh not many people selling cruise tickets right now i don't think auction services event tickets uh which is big for me i used to sell uh indy 500 tickets on ebay very successful in doing that in the past uh, i haven't done it much lately can't sell gift cards uh, which is huge. I know there's a lot of people that sell gift cards on eBay. Lodging, timeshares, vacation packages, and rental cars, memberships to campgrounds and RV parks. I'm sorry, Jellystone, you have been left out in the cold on this one. Motor vehicles and wine. Uh, but there are two things that um, are also included on this list that affects us directly. Uh, and that would be bullion and coins. Um, you will not be able to sell bullion and coins under the new managed payment system. Now, can't you just not enroll in the, the managed payment system? Yes, true, you could not enroll, but your account will be suspended on December 31st, 2020, because 2021, January 1st, everybody's gonna be required to be on the managed payment system. So come January 1st, possibly sooner, uh, from everything I've read with uh, with uh, eBay in regards to the managed payment system, um, you could possibly just be out in the cold uh, sooner than that. You might just log in someday to sell some coins and not there. You might even log in to buy some coins and they're not there. So I'm sure there's going to be some ways to get around it, you know, list it under jewelry, um, list it under... Um, just metals, uh, different type of metal maybe, I, you know, I don't know. So um, there, I guess there are gonna be some ways to, to curtail that, but you're gonna get caught, you're gonna get in trouble, you're gonna get your account suspended. You know, is it really worth it? No. So what's that mean? eBay has said that they are working at, uh, towards opening eBay back up to some of these things, but uh, in the very beginning of the process, they are not going to, uh, allow for these items to be sold. Now, some of the, some of these things I'm sure will become available pretty early on uh, as the program rolls out. I mean, event tickets is a big deal. Um, you know, motor vehicles is another huge market. Um, if, if you've ever looked at cars on eBay, it just goes on forever. You can buy any type of car, any year, make model on eBay at any given time. Um, but obviously for us, bullion and coins, that's a, that's a huge deal. So do I think that those things will make a return onto eBay? Yes, I think it's a huge enough market for them to where they will, um, will allow it uh, at some point. But I understand their hesitation. Obviously there is a lot of fakes out there. Um, uh, paper currency is another item on the list uh, in, in the, the coins. Uh, bullet point here, but uh, there are a ton of fakes out there, and I'm sure that they're wanting to protect their losses, their potential losses, um, by not offering um, these items on eBay at this time. But you know, it'll return, I think. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Um, that is going to be our secret word of the day for the gold back. Your, your comment needs to have the word eBay in it and you will be entered in for the drawing for the Utah gold back. We'll be drawing that on Monday, of course. If you guys aren't up to date on my videos, I did a video last night uh, cracking baseball packs open. Wasn't a very successful time, but you do have a chance to win some silver uh, in that video. So go back and check that video out. I think you will 
find it's pretty easy to, to get in on the win. So, guys, I do truly appreciate every single one of you. If you happen to appreciate old Indie XP, why don't you go ahead and hit that thumbs up button for me right there. It'll help me out greatly. If you happen to be new to the independent experience, why don't you go ahead and consider hitting that subscribe and jingle jingle bell right there in the corner. Bing bong. So you can be notified of when new content is coming out. If you're watching this video on Friday, I'm going to post a card to last night's video. It's going to be right here. It's in the big box right here. Go ahead and check that out. Get in on the silver. If not, if you're watching this video later on, this is going to be some other video. Disregard the free silver stuff. <laughs> I've been NDXP from the Independent Experience, and I'm here once again to remind you, if the women don't find you handsome, they should at least find your pockets heavy.